Breaking news. Coronavirus boy 14 charged with assault for coughing on pensioner in town centre. Teenager charged amid spate of arrest over coronavirus lockdown rules. A 14-year-old boy is among people charged with coronavirus-related offences following a spate of arrests. This, the teenager, who cannot be named for legal reasons, allegedly coughed and spat on a pensioner while shouting about the virus. Great Manchester Police said officers were called to Ashton under Lyme Town Centre on the evening of the 17th of March. In a report to earlier that evening, a boy had been coughing and shouting coronavirus at a 66-year-old woman. Great Manchester Police were called to Ashton under Lyme. Last week, the CPS Crown Prosecu Prosecution Service announced that such incidents would be treated as assault and the boy has now been charged. Numerous arrests for deliberate coughing have been reported across Britain, including several against emergency workers. A man was tasered in London after allegedly coughing saliva over firearms officers. The Metropolitan Police said the unit were driving through Haringey on Saturday afternoon when a 24-year-old man began to shout and make rude gestures towards them. When the firearms officers stopped to talk to him, they said he shouted that he had coronavirus before deliberately coughing saliva all over them. A spokesman said he then began to physically attack the officers before being tasered and arrested on suspicion of public order offences and assault on an emergency worker. Police in Brighton arrested a 65-year-old man about an hour later after he allegedly spat at them and used threatening, abusive or insulting words or behaviour. Jonathan Bruston, 43, denied assaulting an emergency worker at Chentleham Magistrates Court and was remanded in custody ahead of a trial. Last week, the CPS announced that deliberately coughing on emergency workers could be punished by up to two years imprisonment in the United Kingdom. Max Hill, QC, the Director of Public Prosecution, said this is a crime and needs to stop. The CPS stands behind emergency and essential workers and will not hesitate to prosecute anybody who threatens them as they go about their vital duties. Assaults specifically against emergency workers are punishable by up to two years in prison, while common assault has a maximum sentence of six months, so in total that could mean two years and six months imprisonment. Police have also been given the power to arrest people or fine them up to nine, £960 for breaking coronavirus lockdown rules. A railway ticket office worker has died of coronavirus after being spat at by a passenger while on duty. Bailey Majinga, 47, was on the concourse of Victoria Station in London in March when a man allegedly claiming to have COVID-19 coughed at her and a colleague. Within days of the assault, both women fell ill with, with the disease. Police are examining CCTV footage of a man who coughed and spat at a railway ticket office worker two weeks before she died of COVID-19. The suspect, described by one witness, as around 50 years old and smartly dressed, claimed to be infected with the coronavirus. When he confronted Belly Majinga and a colleague at Victoria Station on March 22nd, 21st. Miss Majinga was admitted to hospital on the 2nd of April and died three days later after testing positive for the disease. The incident prompted a public outcry, with Prime Minister Boris Johnson commenting the fact that she was abused for doing her job is utterly appalling. On Wednesday night, her employees, Govia Thameslink Railway, Thameslink Railway, GTR, confirmed it had passed a video of the incident to the police. British Transport Police, BTP, said the officers were reviewing the footage as part of the investigation but did not plan to release it to the public at present. The fool said they had launched a full investigation into the circumstances after receiving a report of the alleged assault on 11th of May, nearly six years, six weeks after Miss Majinga's death. Colleague of Miss Majinga, the mother of an 11 year old daughter, said they remained concerned for her safety as travel numbers increased the following relaxation of the lockdown rules six weeks after Miss Majinga's death. Two teenagers have been charged with assaulting a police officer and breaching coronavirus lockdown rules on public gatherings. Police officers were on patrol in Brixton, South London on Friday when the incident is said to have occurred. A 17 year old boy and Jamar Jackman, 19, from Brixton, has been charged over the assault of an emergency worker and obstructing a police constable. They are both due before Croydon Magistrates Court. Both teenagers were also charged with contravening a requirement to not participate 
in a gathering in public of more than two people under the coronavirus regulations 2020. Mr Charge has strong words for those who put public police at risk. It is so disgraceful that in this climate where police officers are out trying to protect the public, people are spitting at them. On Monday, Warminster man Peter Cooper, 36, was sentenced to 13 weeks imprisonment after he admitted spitting from his police station cell into the eyes of a custody sergeant. For disgusting people that spit at people and risk and endanger others' lives, it's dreadful. All of the disgusting things our key workers and heroes go through to save us. We should respect and be grateful, not spit at them or assault them. Take your coronavirus back home. Woman knocked unconscious during racist attack on friend. Mira Solanke knocked unconscious by stranger after defending Chinese friend from violence abuse. Police have released images of a man who knocked a woman unconscious as she defended her Chinese friend from abuse about coronavirus. The assault took place while Mira Solanke was out in Birmingham celebrating her 29th birthday. But while she was enjoying a night out, her friend Mandy Huang was verbally abused by a stranger who shouted, take your coronavirus back home. When Miss Solanke tried to get between the aggressive man and her friend, she was punched in the face by the attacker and knocked unconscious. Detectives from West Midlands Police have now released CCTV images of a man they want to trace in connection with the incident. The attacker is described as Asian, 5 feet, 8 inches tall, of a large docky build and was wearing a flat cap and hoodie at the time, a spokesperson for the force said. The racist assault took place at around 2am on 9th of February in Frederick Street in the Hockley neighbourhood of Birmingham. Miss Solanke, a trainee solicitor, said the Asian man repeatedly harassed them throughout the night at the bar before he began abusing Mrs Huang. I was having a birthday drink with a group of girls and guys including Chinese friends, she said. There was a group of Asian men inside the venue. One of them kept coming up to me and harassing me. Towards the end of the night, there was just the three of us girls including my, left, including my Chinese friend, Mandy. The man came over and was being so abusive and aggressive, so we left, but he followed us. He started abusing her, calling her a dirty... He said, take your coronavirus and take it back home. I was shocked and angry, so I shouted for him to stop and tried to push him away. He punched me in the head. I hit the pavement and was knocked unconscious. The 29-year-old was taken to the hospital after the assault and spent six hours being treated for concussion. She was unable to go back to work for another week. West Midlands Police said anyone who recognised a man in the CCTV images should contact the force. There have also been reports of racist coronavirus-related attacks on people of the East Asian, Asian descent elsewhere in Britain in recent weeks, including in London, Southampton, Newcastle, Sheffield and Manchester. In one incident, a Singaporean student was beaten up in central London by men who shouted, I don't want your coronavirus in my country. A poll by Ipsos Mori found 14% of Britons would avoid contact with people of Chinese origin and appearance, while some restaurants in London's famous Chinatown districts have reported significant falls in the customer numbers since the coronavirus outbreak began. All these sickening assaults that these key workers put themselves in. Thank you all key workers for all the hard work you do. And people just spit at you. Disgusting. News reporter Dwayne Hartz, MK Local News and Awareness UK3.